From what I understand, they were dinking around, playing around, and he popped out in the street, got struck, got put in, over, pushed over into the yard. His shoes were in the yard, his backpack, you know, that picture I showed you, so. Yeah. It was really, really jarring. It's not a fun way to get up in the morning. So. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> just talking. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, if you could just kind of rehash what you told me and mm. about what you saw. Oh, about like the morning? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, so my three-year-old called out, woke me up. He told me there was lights on his wall, and I was like, ah, it's just a traffic stop. And then I came out and to the kitchen to get a glass of water, and out my kitchen window, he was just laying right there in front of my kitchen window on the sidewalk, and there was, he had just been hit. And there was EMT guys, first responders, your fire department, they were all there working on him, cutting off his clothes, getting him on the spine stabilizer thing, board. So that was scary. Mm. Yeah. Um, so you were talking about people tend to speed on this road. Yeah. You see a lot of traffic and a lot of speed. Yeah, a lot, tons, absolutely. Especially during like the morning commute and the evening commute because a lot of people use this as a way to get around instead of going other, way, other ways. But like nobody does a speed limit. It's supposed to be like 30 and 35 on this. Nobody does that. They're all going way faster than it. And you can always tell who's speeding because inside you just hear them just sail by, so. And like the kids, this neighborhood, the school bus stop is up there, and this neighborhood is a cul-de-sac, so people can't drive through it, but it's connected by like a paved path to like two other neighborhoods. So everybody who's going to the elementary school, they all walk up this way. And this is an incredibly busy street, so. And like for it not to be a marked crosswalk, it's just, it's irresponsible. So some of the, oh, oh go sorry, ahead. go ahead. No, so you have, have there been any any efforts to actually the neighbor the neighbor called down and asked for them to put in a sidewalk and she's she told me that they said you could do a petition and they said who would you even turn that into and she's like, oh, thank you sweetheart <laughs> um so you have two kids do yep. you feel like this is a safe neighborhood for kids to be playing in oh away from the street yeah like that way, but not right here. No, absolutely not. Like not, Tian's not allowed in the front yard without us, period. Like, so he doesn't go out at all. And he gets to ride his like tricycle right here. And I see that's, it's, and like even people who pull into the neighborhood, they came off the street just flying in here. So it's, <laughs> and I think it's just so many people are, just trying to get where they're going and they're not paying attention and they just, it's not that they don't care, they're just not paying attention, they're not being conscientious about it. I don't know. I really hope something does get done. I would love to see the speed limit lowered because if it was lowered, people would probably be more conscientious. It's just way too much of a residential area for it to be 35. That's a really fast speed. Things can happen. Kids can pop out. Less reaction time. And this is just a neighborhood. Families live here, so. Can you show me then that kind of just what, I mean, obviously there was. He was hit like right here, like right there. And then there was a shoe there, and there was a shoe over there, and then where the sidewalk is wet is where they washed it off where his body was, so. Yeah. He's at the hospital. He's still in critical, right? As far as everybody knows. It's the last we heard, yeah. Okay. At least he made it there, so. Yeah, I heard him crying this morning. That was really, that was, that was awful. That was just bad. <sighs> I don't even, I don't even know if he was walking to the school, if he was walking to the school bus stop, but. Yeah. So you usually have kids waiting right here at this corner for the school bus? No, it's. The school bus stop is a couple blocks down. I guess it's like almost to the, um, it's almost to that Midland down there, which is kind of a long way for kids to walk already. I mean, I would say you could put more stops on it, but people already get really impatient, you know? If they're impatient about the speed, 